My name is Dr Louise Taylor and I'm a research scientist at RB. RB is an international company which makes a range of health, hygiene and home care products. Today we're going to talk about one of our health products which is sold around the world, Gaviscon. My name's Dr Matt McGurr and I'm also a scientist working at RB. We both work in the research and development area of the company. The role of research and development in RB is to understand what the consumer wants and needs and to find a way to deliver a product to meet that need that also complies with all the regulations and laws that are involved. In particular, we work on developing Gaviscon, which is an acid reflux suppressant that provides relief from indigestion and heartburn. Heartburn is a painful condition caused by the hydrochloric acid naturally present in your stomach escaping into your food pipe, also known as the esophagus. Hydrochloric acid has a pH of 2, so this process, known as acid reflux, can cause extreme discomfort. People use Gaviscon as it forms a barrier or raft of reacting with the acid in your stomach. The raft prevents the acid from travelling up the food pipe. Gaviscon works differently to an antacid. It contains three main ingredients, sodium alginate, sodium hydrogen carbonate, also referred to as bicarbonate of soda, and calcium carbonate, also referred to as limestone. Together, these three ingredients work differently to an antacid. Sodium alginate is derived from seaweed. It is a linear polymer made from two sugar-like monomers. Each COO- is charge balanced by Na+. The sugar monomers can be spotted by the five carbon ring with one oxygen. You can think of sodium alginate as being RCOO minus Na+. That is the salt of a carboxylic acid like ethanoic acid, CH3COOH, and therefore expect it to behave similarly. Ethanoic acid is a weak acid and partially disassociates in water. The same thing happens with sodium alginate when added to the stomach as part of Gaviscon. Not all the COO minus groups produced by disassociation will accept a proton, or H plus ion. Some will remain as COO minus. This leads to a further important bit of chemistry that allows Gaviscon to work. After taking Gaviscon, the stomach will contain Ca2 plus ions from the calcium carbonate, which has dissolved in the stomach contents. Two negatively charged COO minus groups from the two alginate chains can associate with each other because both are attracted to the Ca2 plus ion. This has the effect of cross-linking alginate molecules together in a 3D network. This is called the alginate raft. Sodium hydrogen carbonate and calcium carbonate react with the stomach acid in a neutralization reaction to produce carbon dioxide gas. This becomes trapped within the raft, lifting it to float on top of the stomach contents and forming a barrier that prevents the stomach contents rising into the esophagus and causing pain. The alginate raft can be demonstrated simply and effectively. The conical flask represents the stomach, the acid represents the stomach contents, and the neck of the flask representing the esophagus or food pipe. We add 10 centimetres cubed of Gaviscon, After a short time, you can see bubbles of carbon dioxide forming on the gelatinous raft, causing it to float to the top of the stomach, forming a plug. At this point, we can invert the flask to show the raft stopping the stomach contents escaping. For the development of any medicine, it's important to measure the level of active ingredients. This allows us to monitor the level of active ingredient in each dose, for example, a tablet. We use several analytical techniques in order to do this, including ultraviolet visible spectroscopy, also known as UV vis, and acid-based titrations. It is therefore important we have a good understanding of pH, 
molar calculations and acid-base reactions. I really enjoy working in science as there's always the element of working with the unknown. What's really satisfying is once we've overcome the challenges, the direct results can be seen in the form of a finished product which can be bought by millions of people all around the world. For me, the exciting thing about working in science is understanding the problems that people face in their everyday lives and using chemistry to develop products to help solve these problems.